Hi. Hello, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Patty. Good night, Helen. Good night, Annie. How are you? Good night, teacher. Good night. How are you doing, girl? Good night, teacher. Good night. It's going to be only girls' night today. That would be amazing. <laughs> All right. How are you guys doing? How's your day going so far? Do you understand what I'm asking you? No? No. No? Okay. How was your day? Was it good? Was it bad? Was like very good. Mm, very good? My name is was very good. Very good. Very good. Hi, Patty. How are you? Hi, hello. Hello. Good night. Yeah, hey, I love your headsets. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Th those guys we call headsets, okay? Because you. you put it on your head to cover it, of course. And this ones, this ones. The one, okay. that you, the one that you plug in your um, cellular, the one that you use to listen to music, this one's called earphones. Why? Because you put it on your ear, right? Inside your ear, all right? So that's why right. these ones are our earphones and these ones are headsets, okay? All like right. the one that you're wearing, Patty, and Anita, the one that you're wearing as well. Okay. Yes, very good. Ah, we do have Mr. Ronald Umberto. How are you, sir? He's eating. He's happy because he's eating right now. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. Not 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 good as you because you're eating, sir. Nah, it's a snack. Your snack. Is it yeah. a sandwich, by the way? Yeah. That's with a, cheese. With so. cheese. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. And how was your day? Pretty good. We were talking Amazing. about that. Yeah. Well, it's pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy because I'm with you today, guys. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. I, we are a, I a miss my babies. Group. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Especially with the liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I miss my baby. For me, you are my babies. Okay. You're my English babies. Yeah, and I miss you a lot. I yeah, I well, this is the second day. And we're going to hang up really good. Hey, do you remember that I will show you my phrasal verb boof? I found it. I found uh, what, it. What, what is the name? Oh, this one is Macmillan Phrasal Verb Plus. Okay. Uh -huh. This one is really good because actually it has like the single word. For example, let's say abandon, for example. Yeah. And, at the, and uh, right next to it, it has the phrasal verb equivalent to that word. So that's really good. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice actually. It has a phrasal verb from A to Z. From A to Z. And for example, uh, PCAP, remember the one that we saw yesterday, PCAP? We have 18 ways to use it. 18? 18. 18, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, so I think that two classes would not be enough to it's cover a little bit. Over. It's a little bit crazy. <laughs> uh, memorize all yeah, the words. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you need to like uh, get used to it and practice. Today, basically, we will continue with that. We're going to. Um, I will. I will give you like some some other phrasal verbs that we can discuss, that we can use. Um, basically, not with all the the particles because we have a lot. We have, for example, with in, with on, with up, with away, with around, with along, with forward, with by. Can you imagine that? Woohoo! Right. You know, Patty's like, oh my God. Yeah, so there's one hour is not enough to cover that. <laughs> there's a lot. But I'm going to show with uh, to share with you some of them. Most of them, the one that we uh use, for example, for movements, or also the, the ones that are more common, like with in, for example, or with off, right? 
we're going to see them. And then we will do like um, writing exercises in group, okay? So don't worry about Teacher. it. This is going to be so much fun. Yes, a student. Teacher, <laughs> I have yeah. a question. Go ahead. Uh, where can we get, the, get it, the book? Oh, it's really hard. Really? Why? Yes, uh, because it's only for teachers. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> exactly, that's the reason why. Uh, yeah, I will be more than glad to see if we can see you alive, guys. So I, I, you, I can share my book and you can have a copy. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can see each other one day in the academy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, and I can give it to you my book so you can like make a copies because that okay. is really nice book actually. It is. Thanks. You're more than welcome. It's my pleasure. And if I found something interesting that might help you, I will send you information. Okay, Umberto. Okay. Don't worry okay, about thanks. that. You're more than welcome. All righty. Hi, I have Carlitos here, Helen, Christian, my beautiful Teacher. lady and the smiley uh, girl, Coralia, right? Maria del Carmen. Yeah, Coralia, you're not so smiling today. What happened to you, girl? <laughs> you're tired, maybe, right? Yeah? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Uh, Fernando, Fernando, Hello, how are you? I'm so happy to see you again, <laughs> my man. Yeah, I miss. He was my baby of the last models. So I'm so happy. Uh, I have Mr. Christian. I have Melvin. Hi, how are you? I do have Janet, Eduardo, Samuel, Daniela. Very good. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of people here, like 15 guys. So this is going to be so much fun. All righty. <laughs> hey, uh, Fernando wasn't here yesterday, right, guys? Or oh, was Teacher. he? Teacher. Yeah? <laughs> uh, uh. Yesterday, yesterday, I got confused with the information. Uh -huh. I, I told class was at, at, at 9 p.m. <laughs> uh -huh. And no, it was yes, from 8 or... to 9. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, but, but that's good that you're here. So don't worry, okay? You are dismissed for okay. the for the homework, okay? Did I uh, did I left a homework, guys? No, right? No. No, no. 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 I told you that I will be a really nice teacher and it's going to be from today, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. But we need to listen, Mr. Fernando. Fernando, tell us a little bit about yourself. You can introduce to your classmates, okay? Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, my name is Fernando Minero. Mm -hmm. uh, I I have 20, 20, 25 years old. He's the youngest. I, <laughs> I work in the association Agape. I live in the in the Congo City. Uh, for the moment, uh, I I work in my in my in my house for the for the. How do you say pandemia? How do you say that? How do you say that, guys? Do you remember? For the quarantine. Ah, for the quarantine. Yes. Okay, only that. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay, Humberto, tell me, how old is Mr. Fernando? 21 years old. 23. 25. Yeah, very good, Helen. Congratulations. <laughs> you were not paying attention, right? <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Patty. Hi. Where does Mr. Fernando work? In Agape. Very Agape. good. Uh, is he working right now uh, in a physical place or at home? At home. At home. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Hey, tell me something, Carlos Arevalo. Was Fernando here yesterday? No, no. He, he, he came to the first. He came to the first dance today. Aha. Uh -huh. So, no, he wasn't. All right? No, he wasn't. No, okay. he wasn't. It was, no, he wasn't. It was a just no question with the pass of the bird to be which in this case is was. All right, okay. very good, excellent. Guys, have you seen the, the simple pass already? Yes or no? Do you remember? No, Claudia said, no way. I have not seen that, no. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, I thought you did. Okay, don't worry about it. We're going to learn it, okay? Okay, guys, uh, can somebody of you tell me what we have seen or what we saw yesterday? Thank you, Claudita. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Claudita, we want to hear you. What was the topic for yesterday's class? We cannot hear you, Claudita. Uh, sort of. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. No, pick at the uh -huh. pretzel bear. Pretzel bears, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Bravo. Excellent. Good job. Exactly. Thank you. Phrasal verbs. Okay, yes. Can I have an example of a phrasal verb, Coralia? Here, like, pick up. Pick up, very good. Put on, put on. Okay, very good. Anything else? Hang up. Hang up, okay, yes, hang up. But... What about this? Hello? Call back. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. Exactly. All right. You said pull up. Okay. You said pull off, right? Put on. You said hang up. Come back and pick up. Five. Very good. Excellent. Can I have an example of a sentence using pick up? Umberto. Uh, can you please pick up? The clothes, uh, okay, can, uh -huh. Uh -huh. can you please pick up the clothes? All right, very good, excellent. Can I have an example with um, put off, Melvin? I put off my cap after my class. <laughs> okay, <laughs> excellent job. <laughs> All righty. What about put on, uh, Patty? Mm, why me? Repeat me the question, please. I need a sentence with the phrasal verb put on. Remember what the, what does it mean? Put on, guys. What does it mean? What does it mean? your body with clothes. Exactly. Wear. Yes, to wear. Exactly. To wear. Do you remember that Melvin gave an excellent example about it yesterday <laughs> <clears throat> regarding his wife's black dress, by the way? Lovely black dress. Oh, my God. And he Lovely emphasized black. and put an adjective. Can you imagine that? Yeah. It was a hot, sexy mama, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So put on. Put on, that means wear. For example, Patty, let's say that you and me are going to go out together, right? And we're going to go to the cinema. But guys, do you remember that at the cinema, there's an air conditioner? Yes. So it's cold, right? Oh, cool. It's cold. So, Patty, pretend that I'm your mother, right? I'm not too old. Okay, but pretend that I'm your mother and I advise you to wear a sweater because it's going to be cold. So if I'm asking you to wear a sweater, how am I going to request to you that you need to wear a sweater if you want to go to the cinema with me? Using the phrase of her, put on. Put, put down, put on the sweater. Very good. Movie. Moving. Excellent job. Great. Uh, great job. Give me a double five, girl. Woohoo. Very good. Again, <laughs> put on. You said put on the sweater. Okay. The sweater. But in that phrase, guys, put on the sweater. The sweater. Is it a noun or is it a pronoun? It's a noun. Now. No. It's a noun. It's a noun, the sweater, right? Because it's an object, okay? So do okay. you remember, guys, that we saw yesterday that there's two parts of the phrasal verb, the verb itself and the particle, okay? Which in mm -hmm. this case will be put on, put off, etc. But- So we can use 
Mm -hmm. uh, in the example of Patricia, mm -hmm. the, we can use the, the example, the, the expression, put the sweater on. Exactly. She said, put on the sweater. And you're uh, telling us right now, Samuel, put the sweater on. I, we can use it in a two ways. And you are perfectly okay. right. Why? Why, guys? We saw that yesterday. Why I can say, put the sweater on and put on the sweater. Why? Because it's a noun. Because it's a noun, correct, Umberto? So when we're using a noun, you can put it in the middle of the two parts of the phrasal verbs and also at the end of the phrasal verb. But, for example, if I'm using the pronoun for sweater, because it's an object, what is the pronoun for sweater? Is it he, she, or it? It, 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 it. It. Okay, it, so it. now I'm using a pronoun that substitute the sweater, which in this case is it. Can I use the pronoun in the middle of the phrasal verb? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Can I? Yes. Yes. But can I use it at the end of the phrasal verb? No. No. Exactly. Very good job. And that's what we saw yesterday, okay? Exactly. So as soon as you're clear, everything is going to be all right. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so I'm going to be a really nice teacher. And I will um, ask you to think, I will give you one minute right now. And I want each of you to give me one sentence. Think about one sentence, either with pick up Either we'd put off, we'd put on, we'd come back, or we hang up. Or, no, call back, sorry, call back, not come back, call back. <laughs> okay, back. okay, Daniela? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll give you one minute, and then I return back to you, okay? You can think about it, or you can write it down, whatever you prefer. Okay, one minute, guys, and I will be counting. Okay, I'll be right back. You won't see me, but I will see you. Okay, <laughs> it's the big brother too. I'm just kidding. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Okay, time is over. Uh. All right, very good. Volunteer? Okay, I'm thinking a number from one to, to 20. <laughs> Give me one number, Fernando. Um, five. No, Melvin. Seven. Who said that? 
You said five, right, Fernando? No, 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 that was not. Melby. Six. Six. No. Carlos, what number? Okay. No. Patricia, what number? Five. No, he, uh, Fernando already mentioned another phone. Uh, number. Mm -hmm. Another number. It's number or number? Number. Number. Um, Wendy? No, 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 no. It's number. Yes. Five. No. Uh, Umberto? I want to participate. Yes, I know, but I, wa I want you to let me know a number, please. From oh, okay, two. two. No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no. Maria Del Carmen, what about you? Hey. Hey. No, no, Amy. What about you, Adela? I cannot hear you, but I think you said one, right? And no. <laughs> Helen Mercedes, what about you? Fifteen? No. Coralia, what about you? I can hear you. No. Wendy, what about you? Three? No. Anita, what about you, Annie? Nineteen? No. Catherine, what about you? No. Samuel, what about you? Four. No. What about you, Daniela? Twelve. No. Eduardo, what about you? Twenty. No. <laughs> Claudia, what about you? Four. Forty? Forty? No, I said from one to twenty. Ah. Oh, uh -huh. He's fourteen. Sorry. Uh, no. Janet, what about you? Eight. Um. No, Umberto, what about you? Twelve. What? Twelve. No, Maria del Carmen, what about you? You said three? No. No. Claudita, one. one. No. Come on, guys. Fifteen. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Thirteen. Ten. Ten. No, no, Sammy. Oh my God. No, you don't well, want to participate. I know. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm going to give a chance to the one who wants us to say, I want to participate. I want to participate. Go for it, Mr. Umberto. Go ahead. Me? Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, you talking to me too? Yes. Uh, my girlfriend put on a beautiful dress tonight. She looked stunning like a princess. I love her. Okay. She uh, look or uh, she looks? Pretty romantic. She looks. <laughs> uh, looks. Yes, looks. Because looks. It's, it's third person singular. Never forget that at the end, okay? Uh, but that was perfect. Excellent. Okay. Oh my God. It was pretty romantic, you see? It's really hot, okay? Okay, very good. <laughs> All righty. Uh, who else? Melby? Go ahead, Melby. <laughs> Turn down the light, please. Oh, no way. <laughs> okay. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> what about you, Carlos Arevalo? Uh, 11? No, no, no. I want a sentence with a phrasal ah, word. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, for example, please call back again to contact him. Very Maybe. good. Sammy, what about you, Samuel? I want to call my teacher back. All right. Hi, excellent. I don't know why. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Very good. Mercy, what about you? Hello, Mercy. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Can I have a sentence, please, with phrasal verb? <laughs> uh, yes. For example... Uh, please put on the shoes. Okay, please put on the shoes. Okay, you can say that to your um, children, right? Very good, excellent. Noemi, what about you? Uh, Andrea, just put on your pyjama and go to bed. Very good. That's what mama says all the time, right? Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Wendy, what about you? No, for this topic, I am a little bit lost. Don't worry. That's why I'm here. Okay. Do your best. 
think, but I don't have any any sentence. Now I have an example, okay? Don't okay. worry about that, okay? Let's listen to your classmates and then we're going to reinforce this today, okay? So don't worry. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, Christian Alexander. Hi, teacher. Hi, can I have a sentence with a phrasal verb, please? Uh, okay. Um, uh, I can't put in, put in off going to the the last best thing. Um, I have to pick up her up. Okay, I have to pick her up. Okay, very good, excellent. Very good. And I need one Mercedes. Helen Mercedes. Can I have an example, please? Okay, Helen. Yes. yes. Thank I you. need to call my boss back. Okay. Because I didn't see my phone when he called me. Oh, okay. Very good. Excellent. Adela, can I have one example, please? Okay. Will you pick up my mother in the airport tomorrow? Okay. Could you please pick up my mother at the airport tomorrow? That's amazing. Very good job. Excellent. You need to describe your mama, right? right? So I need to know which, who is uh, that lady. Yes. Very good. Excellent. And last but not least, Daniela, can I have an example, please? Yes, um, I think it's an example. The weather is too cold, so I can't put my sweater on. Very good. Excellent. That's really good one. Excellent job. All right, guys. Very good. You have done an excellent job. I have not asked you to all of you. But at that, at, there's a reason why not. But um, let's continue with that. Let's continue with the pronunciation. Okay, I need to focus on the pronunciation right now. And we're going to see more phrasal verbs, okay? And then we're going to have a writing activity. I already have it. So I'll, we're going to make groups and all of that. But before we move, Maria del Carmen, do you have an example for us? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. We're listening to you, girl. Um, can you call me back the next week? Yay, very good. That was an excellent. <laughs> Are you talking to me or you're talking to somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent job. Very good job. Okay. Very Teacher, good. The, the, the sentence is correct. Rodrigo, could you pick out the clothes, please? Yes. You can okay. do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it as well. All right. Excellent. So let's continue. Let me open right now my screen and then we're going to uh, continue practicing that. All righty. I want to focus on the pronunciation on this one. Mm -hmm. Tell me, guys, as soon as you're able to see my screen, please. With me. Can you see it? Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 All right. Yes, I can see it. But what I'm going to do is to put it yes. a little bit bigger, right? Yes. So, so basically, you can see it much better. Is that, is that much better? Yes, teacher. Uh, Okay. Maybe, maybe I need to change my classes because uh, <laughs> I see uh, yeah. things, I don't know, how can I say, uh, borroso? Uh, yeah, exactly. Not clear. Not no clear. clear. No clear. <laughs> yeah, that might be because I do have a, like a good resolution yeah. here. Yeah, but don't worry. Do your best. Okay. okay. This is right. But I understand. I understand. understand? That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Guys, so what we're going to focus right now is the stress. You know what a stress means? Yeah. Okay. So you the stress means that the part of the of the word that you need to emphasize more, okay? To put a stronger pronunciation in order for you to pronounce it correctly. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. As you can see, guys, we have here. What we have seen yesterday, we had the pick up and turn off. Can you see that? Yes? Yes. The first yes. example, guys, is with nouns, okay? But with nouns, if you can do a double check, at the end of the 
phrasal verb. You see? Okay. So let's focus on this one first, and then I'm going to move on with the other two groups, okay? Can you see these ones, guys? Can you see this? I wanna ask you this. Can you see this is, these circles? Yes. Yes. Okay. So that means- I can see the circle, but I can uh, see the image clearly. You cannot see the image clearly. All right, let me check it out if I can. Um, Put it a little bit bigger. Uh, 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 oh, I will do something extra. Okay, bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me like leave right now for sharing my screen and I will do something else, okay? Because I want you guys to basically see what I'm, I want to teach you. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Okay, let's double check. Let's double check something. I will do something really quickly. Just to help you with this. All right, let me check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I almost done. So I will let you know when I'm finished. It all of you has the same problem of your partner that you do not see the um, the image or only you two guys. Can the rest of you can see the image, guys? Yeah. Don't see I it clearly. Problems. Don't see it clearly, Melvin. Okay. There you go. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me check if I can put it a little bit bigger. This, this one's, I think so. Oh yes, there you go. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Whoops! Is that is that a, like a tornado or storm or something like that? Ooh. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Okay. Hopefully you can see them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. I fixed it already. So bear with me for a couple of minutes and then uh, I will share my screen with you. Tell me if you're able to see it and I'm going to put it a little bit bigger. Can you see it? Yes, miss. Yes? Is it much better yes. like that? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So guys, this is very good. First of all, let's, um, let's double check in this first one, in this one, the one that I'm checking right now, where is the phrasal verb? Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Okay. In this one, where is the phrasal verb? The same. Pick yes. up. Pick up. Yes, but you see that it's divided, right? Yeah. Yes. And in this one? Pick up. pick up as well and it's divided okay cool but do you notice something different on the first one for example um for example in the first one a, am i using a noun or am i using a pronoun a noun a noun, a noun. A noun. we a noun. have it here mm -hmm. but guys the noun is at the beginning and the middle or at the end after the p after the phrasal verb at the end. At the end. At the end. And in this situation, and in this second example? 
is in, in the middle. middle. Is in the middle, but I'm also using a noun. Is that right? Okay. That's right. Okay, cool. So let's focus on this one first, and then I'm going to move on to the third example. Okay, so the pronunciation. How am I going to pronounce it, guys? This one, the word pick, you're going to put it stronger. Pick up. Pick up. Also, toys. No more. And this one, bear with me, let me change color. And this one, you're not going to pronounce it. You pronounce it, but you're not going to pronounce it with a strong voice. For example, pick up the toys. Do you listen? Pick up the toys. You pick see? up the toys. You see, I emphasize and pick in up and in up. toys, but I do not emphasize my voice in dumb. Can you, can, you, uh, can you see it? Can you hear it? Pick yes. up the toys. You see? Pick up the pick toys. Up the pick up the toys. toys. Exactly. The pick same happened toys. here. Toys is going to be pronounced like in lower, um, stronger voice, but pick toys and up it will be stronger so you're going to say pick the toys up you see pick the toys up it's not the same let's practice the first one uh, yeah once again pick up the toys pick up the toys pick the toys up pick the toys up very Emma, good. The toys. Exactly. The toys. And now we're going to use a pronoun, which in this case is them. Why? Because I'm talking about the toys and the toys is plural. All right. So you see here, I have pick, I have up. And do you remember guys that if I'm using a pronoun, you can only use it in the middle of the phrasal verb, okay? Never forget that, okay? All righty. And this one is going to be low, okay? So I'm going to say, pick them up. 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 All right. So guys, let's practice the three examples, okay? Let's practice together. The first one. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Do you notice that emphasize and the stress of the voice in pick and up? Yes. All right. Is it going to be exactly the same example, guys, with another phrasal verb that in this case turn off? Turn off. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn it 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 off. Again. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn it 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 off. Very good, excellent. Okay, you see that is different? Yeah. The pronunciation, yeah. and you were like, um, yum, yum, right now, right? Your facial muscles are like, oh my God, yes. Then yesterday will be like this, tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to do something, okay? Um, we're going to make like three groups right now. And then one will say the first pronunciation. The second one will say the second pronunciation. And the third one will be the third pronunciation, which in this case is going to be with the pronoun. Do you remember? Do you remember the, yeah. the, the first one, right? We said pick up, right? Pick up the toys. Pick up the, pick up the toys. Yeah, pick up, pick the, up toys. the toys. Pick the toys up. Pick them up. Pick the toys up. Okay. Pick them up. All right, very good. So the first group is going to be Umberto, Coralia, Carlos, Arevalo, Mercy, Noemi, Maria del Carmen, and Patricia. The first pronunciation. Go ahead, guys. We listen to you with pick up. Everybody. Pick up together. the toys. Again. Pick up the toys. Everybody pick together. Up the toys. 
Pick up one, the two, toys. The toys. Okay, one, two, three. Go ahead, guys. Pick up, Pick up the toys. toys. Very good. The second group is going to be Fernando, Helen Mercedes, Melvin, Annie, Christian, and Adela. The second example, please. One, two, three. Pick Go the ahead. Toys up. Pick the 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 toys up. Very good. And the third one is going to be Wendy, Claudia, Jose, Eduardo, Janet, Catherine, Samuel, Helen, and Daniela. Go ahead. One, two, three. Pick the map. Pick the map. Pick the map. Exactly. Very good, Samuel. Pick the map. I I want to hear the mm, pick the map. Pick the map. The map. Very good. Just imagine that you are telling your kids, hey, pick the map. Come on. Hmm? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh my God, the teacher is a really angry mother. No, I'm not. Don't worry about that. Okay. Pick the map. Okay. Do you like it? You see? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask one of you. And then if you, okay, we're going to play. And this, and this game is counting, okay? It's counting. So if you forget the pronunciation, uh, you will lose and you will be out of the game, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to ask for example. Let's pretend an example. Umberto number one, um, uh, Fernando number two, Helen number three, and so on, okay? So you need to be very attentive, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, Fernando number one, pronunciation we pick up. Uh, you lose, sorry. Helen Mercedes, number two. Pick up the toys. Number Pick three. the toys up. Number three, Wendy. Pick them up. Very good. Number one, uh, Melvin. Pick up the toys. Very good. Number two, Anita. Pick the toy up. Okay, very good. Number three, you know, Amy. Pick them up. Very good. Claudita, number one, please. Pick up the toys. Number two, please, Janet. Uh, you lose, sorry. Number three, Umberto. Pick it up. Pick it up. Ah, huh? what? Pick it up. No! <laughs> them. Pick it up. Pick them up. Them, them, pick them. them. Pick them up. Them up. Uh, okay, I will give you one opportunity. <laughs> All right. Coralia, number one. Oh. Pick up, pick up the toys. Very good. Number two, Mercy. Pick the toys up. Very good. Patricia, number three. Pick them up. Okay, we're going to go on on verse, okay? Okay, so the opposite way. Adela, number three, please. Pick them up. Very good. Daniela, number two, please. Pick the toys up. Very good. Sammy, Pick number up. one, please. Pick up the toys. Very good. Jose Samuel, number one, please. Pick up the toys. Very good. And Catherine, number two, please. Pick up the toy up. Very good. Carlos Arevalo, number three, please. Now we cannot hear you. <laughs> oh, really? Pick them up. Very good. Okay. Okay, Melvin, I want the three pronunciation, please. Go ahead. Okay, you lose. Sorry. Pick them up. The three pronunciation, the, no, the, no, the three of them. Three. The three. three of them. Okay. Pick up the toys. Pick the toys up and pick them up. Very good. Melvin, I want the three pronunciation, but in the opposite way. Pick them up. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Pick the toys up. <laughs> pick up the toys. All righty. Very good. I can. Noemi, I want the three pronunciation in the normal way. Pick up the toys. Pick the toys up. Pick them up. Very good. Fernando, the pronunciation, but in a positive way. Okay. Uh, pick, out the, pick, pick out the toys. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And I, I, I mean, for pronunciation number three first, then number two, and then number one. Oops, you uh, may. Uh, sorry. I'm uh, sorry, no remember. <laughs> I don't, don't, I know you, you see okay. that when I'm doing these exercises. Okay, Maria del Carmen, go ahead. Can you do it? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, normal or? No, the opposite way. Oh, the opposite. Mm -hmm. uh, stand up. Pick the toys up. 
pick up the toys. Okay, now I want faster. Go ahead. <laughs> pick them up, pick them toys up, pick up the, the toys. No, 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 a little bit faster. Go ahead, one more time. <laughs> okay, pick them up, pick the toys up, uh, pick up the toys. Uh -uh. Okay, now you're going to do me a favor. I want you to pronounce it, but you need to close your book and close your eyes. Okay. Ah, yes. <laughs> um, close your eyes. Up, uh -huh. Pick them up. Pick the toys up. Pick up the toys. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, but I want to faster like this. <laughs> like if you're eating chili. Oof. Who can do it? Coralia. Okay, very good, Mariela Carmen. Coralia, Thank now you. it's your turn. Close your the eyes. Three. Yeah, the three of them. Close your eyes and in the opposite way. Go ahead. I don't remember. Do but I don't remember. Ah, okay. ah, you made a mistake. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. no. Pick, up the uh -huh. pick up the doors. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. I don't remember <laughs> the order of the war. I know, that's why. No, that's okay. Don't worry. We're here to learn. Humberto, <laughs> can you say it? Ah, no, we cannot hear you. Sorry. Pick up the toys, pick the toys up, and pick, the, pick them up. All right. I, I need it, but in the opposite way, please. Uh, pick, the, pick them up, uh, pick the toys up, uh, pick up the toys. All right, now faster, please. The faster way that you can say it. Uh, pick it up, pick the toys up, uh, pick up the toys. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent, not too bad. All right, guys, we're going to learn more of them today, as I promised you. It was really fun, right? <laughs> I yes. told you, yes. I told you that they were going to do so much fun. All righty. So, guys, we're going to learn more of them. And let me pop some information here. And then I'm going to share my screen with you. Because basically, guys, we have another phrase of verbs that what we're going to do, most of the time we use it, for example, verbs of movement. Do you remember that movement? Like, for example, when you would like to go to the bus or when you would like to drive, etc. Okay? But I'm going to share with you some of them. Let me give you an example. There you go. Okay, you don't see anything right now because I want to write, okay? Okay, guys. So, have you, for example, um, see this verb, get on? Have you seen it? Let me put it in a bigger one. Let me put it a little bit bigger, right? So, ooh, ooh, ooh. yes, because it's not you see. Oh, there you we go. What about, what about now? Can you see yes. it? Much yes. better, right? Yes, yes of yes. course. Yes. Get on. Get on. We get on. Yes, we often, on. for example, guys, we get often on. use, let me let you know something. We're going to do that. We often, let me, let me write it down. We often, guys, uh, use these particles with verbs. This one, on, off, and out, etc. right? Okay, but we use them, guys, with verbs, in this case, with the verbs of movements. Okay? And let me give you an example. That will be an example here. Woohoo! There you go. Oops. Okay. Let me give you an example here. Amor, come. Yes, honey, you gotta eat. For example, bueno. <laughs> the one that I'm getting you, get on. Do you know what does it mean? Yes. Okay. No. no, let me give you an example, okay? Let me give you an example and I'm going to like this. Okay, good. For example, guys, the bus was full. Okay, this is going to be um, an example here. The bus was full. That means that there's a lot of people in the bus, right? Full. So, we couldn't... Come on, there we go. Okay, we couldn't get on. 
You see? You see how it works? We couldn't get on. That means that it was impossible for you to get into the bus because there was a lot of people, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Do you see the meaning okay. of drone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you see how it is? Okay, this, yeah. is, this is one example. All right, let me give you another example. Uh, for example, let me do it. Uh, 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 um. Okay. Come back. Uh-huh. Now, come back now. I will do a turn around. This one is going to be. Mm -hmm. Any idea what does it mean? Uh, around. No? Any idea? No? You got a vuelta? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that might be a possibility. Yes. Yes, definitely. I can return. Mm -hmm. Yes. And let me give you an example. When I touch it, I mean touch, right? Him. Oops. Him. On the shoulder. He. He turned around. He turned around. And that, and here I answered the question of Humberto yesterday. Mm -hmm. You see? Because Humberto said, hey, can I use it in the past? Yeah, you can. But you have to talk about everything in the past, right? You cannot combine a past, uh, for example, a past phrase or verb, which and you're talking in present tense. Doesn't make sense. Has it past, okay? So you see here? You see the difference? Yes? But guys, uh, also there's another way that we can use them. And we can give like a special meaning to this verb. Let me give you another example. And this one will be really nice. Have you heard the word breakdown? Have you heard it before? Yes or no? Okay. Yes. Do you know what does it mean? Um, Any idea? Yeah. No, like it does some work. I don't know. Mm, yes, you, you have an idea. Very good. Like, for example, if you are having a, a mm -hmm. bad time, mm -hmm. you could say, I'm having a breakdown. Mm, yes, that is a possibility as well. But also, I will give you this example. For example, uh, let's pretend that you, uh, you are late. Sorry, I'm late for work, okay? And what had happened to you? Well... The car broke down. You see? This is a phrase of verb in, in past. Can you see that, Umberto? Can you see it, Umberto? Yes, teacher. All right. I what see does, it. Okay. What does it mean, broke down? Romperse or yeah. agarearse. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Arruinarse. Exactly. Very good. So when I, when I say, for example, sorry, I'm late, the car broke down, what I'm trying to uh, let them know or try to uh, um, express myself is that the engine, the engine stopped working. What? Mm -hmm. The engine of the car. So that's what it means. You see? Is there a, is really good? Yes. And then we do have a lot of them, guys. Do you understand these ones right now? Any questions for Break these particular down. ones? Black hat down. No? No. Maybe no in this no. moment. <laughs> no, in this moment. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Let me sh stop sharing right now. Yes. And I'm going to, to share with you another <gasps> ones that we're going to discuss today. It's going to be... Uh, phrasal verbs with in and without. Mm -hmm. For example, drop in, join in. Samuel said an example yesterday, plug in, hand in, you see, fit in. Without, eat out, drop out, get out, cut out, leave out, fill out. What does it mean? Okay, you see, we're going to learn this today, okay? Laura. Yes. 
Who said that? Sorry. Oh, no, yeah, me. me. Yes, go ahead, Ami. No, no, I, I said a lot of a lot of verbs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we do have a lot of, you cannot imagine. <laughs> no, you yes. say a lot of. Oh, yes, and, oh, yes, and, and there are a lot of. Yeah. I can let you know that. Okay, let me continue sharing right now with me. I, I, was, I was about to share with you an anima, image, but I think you will not be able to see it. So I don't want that happens the same with the other image. So I'm going to share right now my screen with you once again. So may I apologize for that. And after that, I'm going to share with you um, an information, a writing activity. Actually, guys, we're going to see this phrasal verse, and that is going to be your homework. Okay? Okay. I will send it okay. to the WhatsApp group. A writing activity, which is basically is going to be like if you need to complete each sentence using the phrasal verb with in or without. That is going to be only that. Okay. Um, let me double check if I can send it to you really quickly before I forget. There you go. I don't want to forget that. So mm -mm -mm. let me share with you. Let me send it right away. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a dog, by the way? Who has a dog? Who has a dog? Coralia? No? I have a dog, but my dog is quiet in this moment. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so it's not, it's not your dog? No. All right. Okay, guys, I sent it to you already through the WhatsApp group, okay? Yes. Yeah. This is going to be your homework for tomorrow. And I'm going to share right now my screen with you. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay. Can you see it, guys? Yeah. Okay. So we're going yes. to talk about phrasal verbs or other verbs plus in. Okay. I will give you some because we have a lot of us that I was mentioned to you before. We cannot cover all of them, but I can help you with that. Okay, so let me change right now the cover. All right, cool. And I can say, for example, the first example that we do have is drop in. Any idea, guys, what does it mean, drop in? No. No? No. No, okay, don't worry, that's what we're here for. Okay, drop in. Esperar un momento, right? uh, No, actually, let me let you know what does it mean. Drop in, it means visit, <laughs> visit somebody for a short Entrating. time. Ah, <laughs> visitar solo un momentito. Exactly, and let me give you an example here. Let me give you an example really quickly. Doctor visit. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, no. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. Yeah. All right. I mm -hmm. drop in to see Chris on my way home. You see? Mm -hmm. Drop in. You're talking about in the past right now? Because it's dropped yeah. in, right? All right. So you say, I dropped in to see Chris on my way home. What does it mean in Spanish? Mientras iba a casa, o pasé a ver un momentito a Chris. Okay? That way, that's what it means. Because drop in is to visit somebody for a short time. Okay? Let me give you another example here. Join in. Any idea what does it mean? Yeah. What could mean? When you are being part of something. Como particip participate or ingresar or, or incluirse en un grupo o algo. Yeah, actually you are perfectly right. Basically join in means that you, need, you can take part, yes, in an activity, you're right but an activity that is, guys, already going on. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, let's pretend that we already start the class. The class starts at eight, right? But yes. Coralia said, oh my God, I couldn't be on time. And Coralia appears in the class at 8.30. Okay. Yes. So she's, she joined in the class at, uh, at 8.30. Okay. Let me give you an example of this one. All right. We can set, for example, we are playing, remember this is present continuous. We're playing a game. All right, we're playing a game. Why? Oops. No, this one. Why don't you? Yeah. Why do you join? Okay. Do you see that? Yes. You see, the game is already is going to be started. It's already started. And you're passing the A, join the, join the game, come on. You see? And one more, guys. One more, and I'm going to put the example of Samuel. Samuel put an example yesterday about plug. Do you remember, Samuel? Uh, it's not with me. It was not you? Are you sure? No. Yes. Oh, my I, God. I oh. shared the same uh, example with... Uh, I don't know, remember with Nami, I think. Ah, and yes, with Nami, talked. yeah. I thought it was you. I don't know why. But no, okay, don't maybe, worry. Maybe but maybe for the boys. Maybe for the boys. Yes, maybe. That could be the reason. Yeah. Plug in. Okay, plug in, guys. That means Con connect. Conectar? Exactly. To connect electricity supplied. That's what it means. Connect electricity supply. And let me give you an example of that. For example, you can set uh, the fridge. You know what that means, right? The fridge or the refrigerator. The, the fridge, yeah, isn't working because you haven't plugged it in. You see? Yes. You have okay. to plug yes. in. Yeah, it's perfectly right, right? Okay, now let me give you an example with out, okay? Verbs plus out. I will give you some example. Uh-huh. This is really easy. Okay, this one. I'm going to help you with this one really quickly. And let me change. Start out. A ah. Maybe, yes, but no, that was not, okay. It was eat out. What does it mean, guys? Comer afuera, ¿vale? Exactly. That means that you have to eat at a restaurant, not at home, okay? So eat at the restaurant. Oops, and not at home. There you go, and with the big ones. Can, can somebody make an example with this, please? Anybody? Hey, guys. You want to eat out? Ah, uh, okay. Would you like to eat out? Would you like? Would you like to? Very good. Would you or could you? Okay, yes. Would you like to eat out? Very good. That's a good example. Excellent job. And one more. Let me show you that one really quickly. And what about... Let me give you this one really quickly. Okay. Leave out. Any idea what does it mean? Salir. Mm, no, omit. When, when the people yeah, leave the office. Something. Omit it, exactly. Not included. Okay, that's what it means. This phrasal okay. verb. It, then let me. Leave out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what I put in here. Because sometimes you think that, sometimes when you think, you said that, oh, that it means this, but not, not all the time, guys. Sometimes it means something different. So let me give it to you an example of this. Uh, for example, let me give it to you. We can say, okay, she said, okay, that she was sick. Mm-hmm. 
you can leave out the word that. Can you, do you understand? Yes. yes, she said that she was sick. But they had had a Exactly, exactly. There you go. Okay, guys, so I know is what is enough. Okay, I know that you, is a lot of you information. Can use, you can use that expression, leave out. Uh, for example, if I want to... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, how do you say it? You can do it. My house. So someone put seguro. I don't know how to say it. Llave. Lock. Uh, someone Lock. locked the, the, the door. So mm -hmm. I can tell to that person, you leave me out. Mm, not really. No. No, not really. I, I will answer that question tomorrow, okay? I know what you're talking about. So basically, uh, okay. for base, uh, basically, what you said that somebody locked the door and you cannot get into your house and you're out of your house, right? Is that what yes. you mean? Okay, okay. Okay, don't worry. I will answer that tomorrow. I want to answer it right now, but <laughs> time is over. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, but you see, guys, we have done a lot of things. You see that there's a lot of to to learn, right? Yes. Yes, yes. yes I know, yes. I know. And there are some of them, okay? We have a lot. But we will continue with that. I send you a um, and writing exercise only with the phrasal verbs in and out, okay? I will, I will try to send you, like, um, extra information to help you a little bit with that. Uh, exercise later on. Any questions? I will be more than glad to help you. Okay. Any questions right now, Patty? How how are you right now, Wendy? I don't have a question, but I don't in the WhatsApp group. You're not okay. Remember that the email that they sent it to you guys to provide you the information of the course. Do you remember that? Yes. There is a link there of the WhatsApp. And when you click on that, they will ask you, would you like to join into the WhatsApp group? You click okay. on that, Wendy, and you will be with us. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Okay, guys, it was nice to have you once again. All righty. It was my pleasure. Oh, I have to let you know, guys, even though classes are from Monday to Thursday, normally, right? But for this week, since we started on Tuesday, this class is going, this week is going to be until Friday. Okay? Yeah. It'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay? okay. So we'll see you Friday. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Hugs and okay. kisses. And see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.